legit made a video in forever because I've been so busy with my life but I finally found time to film. I'm so sorry about that. If you guys read my blog post, if you guys read my blog, you know why I've been busy. I'll put the um, blog post down below as to why I've been gone for so long. And also YouTube has given me problems. I tried to upload a video several times, exact same video, my Halloween vlog um, <clears throat> from this past Halloween and it finally uploaded. It makes no sense. I don't know why. So today I'm going to show you guys a video that has everything to do that's not related to clothes. So like beauty, random stuff that I bought recently. And the next video will also be um, all the clothes that I've hauled. Because I've hauled quite a good amount of clothing, I think. So let's go over these random hauls. It's going to be a whole bunch of random items. So yeah, you'll see that. So I went a little bit book crazy. I bought three different books. Because um, I'm into reading now because I find it's really good for my commute whenever I'm going to work or just don't want to kill time. Um, so the first book, you guys know how obsessed I am with Fifty Shades of Grey, so I bought this book, parody book called Fifty Shams of Earl Grey. Um, I regret buying this book because I read all of it. I would say it took me like two days to finish it, but I finally like finished it recently. I don't like the book at all, actually. I think because I'm such a huge fan of Fifty Shades of Grey that I'm not ready to like make fun of it yet. So if you guys don't like Fifty Shades of Grey, but you guys read it before, I suggest you guys read this book because basically it's like a parody. It's by um, Andrew Schaefer, but aka like Fanny Merkin that's like his parody name and it's just I don't know it was it was a fast read which is I didn't like it so if you are a huge Fifty Shades fan don't read this because then you're just like really like I felt like he was trying so hard to be funny that I wasn't even funny anymore so I'm just like I don't suggest this and I got this um from uh where to get it I got it at Chapters. I bought it online I buy most of my books online because it's cheaper to buy it online than in store and then at the same time I bought um Gabrielle's Inferno, this is a book one of a series, it's basically the whole Gabriel's um, trilogy. So there's Gabriel's Inferno, Gabriel's Rapture, and then the third one, I'm not sure what it's called. But it's also um, Twilight fan fiction, similar to Fifty Shades of Grey. So it's basically about a professor named Gabriel Emerson and a girl named Julia Mitchell. I've not read this book yet, I just have my bookmark in there right now. And yeah, so you want to see my bookmark? It's my Harry Potter bookmark. It's from... The Goblet of Fire. I went to the Harry Potter exhibition a few years ago and I bought the bookmark because I had an actual um, movie, a film frame from the actual movie. So, yeah, that's why I bought it. And this book, it's a contemporary romance. Contemporary romance is my type of thing. And also, like, that um, reading, like, rock, I guess they're called erotica books. I don't know. But those are the types of books I read. And I got the, those two books. And the last book I bought, because um, I bought Sean um, two books for Christmas. And to get free shipping, I bought... Um, one more thing. So this one is called The Marriage Bargain by Jennifer Probst. This one, oh, sorry, I forgot to say this author. This author is Syl Sylvain Rayner. That's the author of this one. And this one is The Marriage Bargain by Jennifer Probst. Um, I never read this book before, but um, it was, for those people who like Fifty Shades of Grey, they said they suggested this book. And basically, I guess, the whole of this story is... Um, this girl, Alexa, marries this billionaire, Nicholas Ryan. Um, I'm not sure what the storyline is. I just bought him like a okay, game mode as well. And this is also a trilogy as well. So this is The Marriage Bargain and the other books. So let's see here. The Marriage Bargain, The Marriage Trap, and The Marriage Mistake. So it's also a trilogy. So I don't know. Uh, this thing with marrying, uh, reading books about uh, rich guys and innocent girls. So I guess that's what my taste is. So those are all the books I bought. Um, and then, if you guys read my blog post, or just read my blog, um, I mentioned this item called Ipkin. It's by, it's Ipkin New York. They're basically a Kore Korean company that are trying to break into the Canadian market right now. And I got, I heard about this product first at IMATS, and I wrote a blog post about them, and they were kind enough to contact me, um, and offered me, to, offered to send this product to me. Um, so I was like, sure, wh why not? Because, honestly, I checked out their product at IMATS, and I loved it, but I just didn't think I needed it at the time, because I was just going to review the product and just see how it was. And so they decided to send me the product, so I'm just going to show you guys the box. So this is the box right here, and here is what it looks like inside. It retails at $50 at IMATS, and um, they just sent this one to me. So I've been using it for this past week, and I am obsessed. I... Personally, I don't wear any foundation because you guys know I'm not a foundation type of girl. Um, but this product works well with any um, creams. 
So the foundations, concealers, uh, powder products, um, your lotions, your sunscreen, whatever you want. And it comes with six replacement pads, as you can see here. <clears throat> so what it is, here's like the cap. Here's the product, you just close it. So it is travel friendly. See, the this is the battery compartment in the back right there. And the on switch is just right here, so you just turn it on, so it just says it can right there. And here, mine's been a little bit dirty because I've been using it as my concealer. Um, you're supposed to put the actual product on the pad and then you apply it to your face. But I personally like to um, put my concealer on first. So I use the Maybelline Age Roar Concealer, so I just put that on. And then I turn this on and then just run it over my eyes or wherever I want the concealer to like settle in. Instead of blending with my hand, just blend it in with this. And it makes it look so flawless, I'm like obsessed. So to turn it on, you just turn this switch here. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but that's what it sounds like. So I just literally just vibrate it across the face. I just hold it there, and it just literally blends in my concealer. Really nice, so that's why I like it. I think I have to change this pad very soon, but I believe they're washable as well. I'll do a whole video on how I apply my concealer so I can see how this product works. But, uh, yeah, you can use it with powder products, but I use most of my brushes for that. But I'll c I could try putting my bronzer and blush on that sort of thing. But, yeah, I've been loving this product, and it retails for $50, but they're – going to um, try to sell this product in Sephora, which is going to be a little bit more expensive. So you guys want to grab this product now if you guys are interested. Um, I'll put the link down below for their website where you can purchase this product and also make a full review video in the future. So, um, yeah, obsessed. Like, I can Because vibrating makeup is, like, the new thing because they have the vibrating mascara. They have, like, the vibrating... Um, powder foundation by Lancome, because I know Lancome makes both of those, but this is like a vibrating like foundation on your face, so this is something completely different, so that's why I was so excited to use it, because I had it, I tried it on the eye mask, I liked it, but I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I want to like use it yet, because I personally don't wear foundation, but this is so with my concealer, and I'm literally obsessed, like, it makes my mornings that much easier, because I don't have to like worry about using my hands for it, and just so much cleaner and so much more efficient. Um, other makeup products I bought, because um, I ran out of my liquid, black liquid eyeliner, so I went back to my L'Oreal Linear Intense Carbon Black Eyeliner. I don't know why, but I don't like this anymore. It's like the brush, hold on, the brush is way too thick, in my opinion, so like this is how thick it is. I do not like it, and it smudges on me, and it used to never smudge before unless they changed the format, I don't even know about it, because it's been so long since I last used it. So I don't like this anymore, I'm still trying to find the perfect black liquid eyeliner, I still like the best one is a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner, but I think my eye, like, because this left eye always tears up whenever I use it, and I don't like it that it does that, so I don't know what to do. So the last, <laughs> last makeup product I bought is the Too Faced uh, Shadow Insurance, because um, I'm running low on mine, and they changed the packaging. That's how long ago I've used it. But um, I'm running low on it, especially since it's the winter time now. I like to use this one because it's better for my dry skin, so I got this at Sephora, and I got this one at Walmart. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, so <laughs> I also bought on, I think it was Cyber Monday, uh, Pink, ba Pink Bari. Basically, uh, I, don't know how I don't know how to pronounce her name on uh, YouTube, but I'll put a YouTube link down below. It's Evelisa, Ev Evelina. Her name is Evelina uh, Bari, you guys probably know her. But um, she has a line called Pink Bari. Uh, so this is like the little box. It's the packing is so cute. Let's cover my address. But, um, this packaging is so cute. Like, she has it in, like, this, like, teal type of packaging. It's really adorable. She has her business card in there as well. So it says Pink Bari. and has all of her YouTube links and email there. E Evan Lena. Evan Lena, that's her name. And then this is just the front of the card. It's so cute. I didn't expect her to put the business card in there, but it's so adorable. Um, so here's the packaging. It just has, like, a little sticker, and it has, like, a little snowflake for winter time. And about one of her um, old lines, I think this is called the Mint Berry mint bari or something but these are the little cute kind of green crystals they have on that has like the pink bari tag here right there and also the gold um chain here um it's really pretty it's actually real metal here but i think she might have painted this blank here gold because they do have gold chain jewelry and they don't really look like this i think she might have painted it but we'll see how long the paint lasts but i don't really mind it because i haven't had any damage on it yet you can also get the sizing really well because uh, there's a regular size and there's small, and then there's like a larger size, so you can get custom size bracelets. Because I know everyone's wrist is not the same. And this one is a magnetic ball that they have to open the thing. So here's the magnet. So I'm just going to show you guys right now when I wear it. It's really easy. Literally, you just hook it, and it's magnetic. And this one literally fits me perfectly. Like, just, there's no room. This thing will not move around. It moves around if I force it, but 
um, that's what the bracelet looks like. And I love that it's a mixed media type of thing, but I'll leave it on for the rest of the video. Um, so it comes with a cute foam packaging, and that's what it is. And thank you so much. And I got this at a discount because she was having the Cyber Monday sale. So I think I paid, I want to say $16 for this bracelet as to the original 22 that it is. But that is so pretty. And then I literally am obsessed. I wore it and uh, it feels so nice. See? It goes with my green thing. Anyways, okay. Next thing is my dad went to India for the past week. He actually literally got back like two days ago and he bought me a few things. Well, he didn't buy me. He bought me, bought me a few things and I just picked up whatever I wanted. Um, he got me these bracelets. It's this nice um, bracelet. Let me just take them out because that's probably more useful. But these bracelets here, these silver bracelets. I'm not sure if it's real silver or sterling silver. I don't know, but um, these are really nice and they have like little tiny designs in them on. So that's nice. I don't know how much this is because I don't know how to translate um, the currency they use in India to here, so I can't tell you. Um, he also bought a whole bunch of scarves, so I picked two scarves out of the whole collection. So these are the scarves I picked out. This the there's actually three scarves. Uh, there's this color. It looks really nice. And here's the pattern on it. You can kind of see that. Let's go this side. There you go. And this is what the ends look like. And this one's really nice and silky. You can kind of, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here's one. Looks really nice, so I like that. Next one is, this one's really similar in color, but this is more um, green. This is more uh, of a gray. And this is what that fabric looks like. I think these are silk. I don't know. I don't know exactly. I want to say silk or satin. I can't tell you, because I'm really bad with telling what fabric is what. So here's this one. I like this one as well. Really cute. And the last one is this white one. I'm, like, literally obsessed. This one is a, I believe it's a pashmina satin material, and here's what it looks like. Oh, so nice. This one's super soft. So, this is what it looks like on me. Love that! Thanks, Dad, for those. Um, yeah, he went there for a wedding and also for business, but literally, he was, like, having the time of his life. He went to the Taj Mahal. I'm so jealous, because I want to go there one day. And then on the same day as I'm at, uh, my friend Fiona, Fiona Mayo, put her YouTube link down below. She went, she heard about the Procter & Gamble sale. I'm like, what is that? P&G? I'm obsessed with P&G products. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff at the sale, and literally, I have a receipt. I spent a total of $28 on all these products, by the way, and I'll tell you what each product price was. So this was the Tampax Pro regular. This is $4 for this whole entire set. I know this is girl stuff, but this is a girl channel. So it's a Tampax Pro, uh, 36 36 uh, Tampax Pearls plus 3 um, tampons, radius plus a carrying case. So it comes with a box inside of 36 packs of Tampax Pearl. Then inside was a this thing as well, and they're just basically advertising their um, new Tampax Radiant. So this is like the Radiant line. It has like a little thing. I think this is so extra, really. Like, no one cares about the packaging of your tampon because you're in a washroom anyways, and if you were to drop it, it's that time of the month. Like, it's not a big deal. But, and it comes with a carrying case, which I really like. I really have some of my tampons in there as well. But this is a really cute carrying case. It has a little handle, and it's just... Who wouldn't love this? And all of this, $4. Amazing. Um, thank you so much, Fiona, for introducing... Or, not introducing, for telling me about this because I literally am obsessed with P&G products. So, thank you. $4 for all this amazingness. You cannot get that anywhere else. Okay. Next product is the uh, Always Infinity. I never tried this Always Infinity before. Uh, this is what it... Oops, sorry. This is what it looks like, the Always Infinity. And I got this for $8, and it comes with um, one carrying case, 20 liners, and 32 pads. I haven't opened this yet, but I'll open it right now so you guys can see what it looks like, because I want to know what it looks like as well. Okay. Oh, looks like another carrying case. Oh, wait, this is a daily liner plus a carrying case. So another carrying case and the liner. Let's see what those look like. I'm not going to open the liner because I'm not going to use it now, but I'll just see what it looks like because... Oh, they have it inside here. That's interesting. Oh, awesome. These liners, so when you wear your um, tampons, you can actually put these liners on. You can put it on for a daily thing. <gasps> That's amazing. Oh, my God, what a good deal. So there's a carrying case. I got, I got, I guess I got two carrying cases now. And then these always infinity. And these are the ones that have like the special uh, material in them. So they actually absorb more than your usual thing. So um, I wear both uh, pads. Hmm. I wear both um, pads and 
<laughs> I wear both pads and tampons depending on how busy I am that day because apparently I went to my doctor and he says using tampons is not good because it's not the natural flow of your body. You should actually be wearing pads. I'm like, what? How come no one told me about this? Apparently tampons aren't good for you, even though people like the use of tampons because you feel like you don't even have your period sometimes, but you should switch it up to wearing pads. Just to, If you're really busy that day, wear tampons, but if you're not that busy that day, then wear pads because apparently it's more natural for your body for it to flow. So yeah, interesting fact I learned from my doctor. Thank you, doctor. So that was $8. Uh, next thing I bought is the Olay Total Effects 7-in-1 Anti-Aging Eye Cream. Basically, it's a line and dark circle minimizing uh, brush, so it's kind of almost like a concealer under the eyes. This thing cost me $8, and I believe it's basically an under eye eye cream tip sort of thing. Yeah, darkness under the eye. Oh, so I guess I knew I got a new concealer. I'm not sure if this comes with any other colors. I really hope this blends into my eye area. I'm not going to open it right now because I'm not going to use it yet until my under eye concealer runs out. But, yeah, this cost me $8. That's amazing. And then I bought four um, cam and then I bought four caramels because I'm literally obsessed with these things. And they're 25 cents each, so I should have just bought the whole entire box. Like, there's literally was boxes of it. I should have just bought it. 25 cents for one chocolate bar. And this is one of my favorite chocolate bars of all time, caramel and also Arrow. I want to say caramel is still my favorite because I'm just literally obsessed. So I bought four, so two for me, two for Sean. But I'm thinking, considering now, I'm going to eat all four. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I give some to Sean? What do you guys think? Hmm. So I bought toothpaste. I don't know a weird thing to buy. Okay, it's not a weird thing to buy. It's cost me two dollars. It's a Crest 3D white animal animal enamel renewal, strengthens and rebuilds. And I'm using it already. I just put it back in the package so you can see. And it cost me two dollars. So two dollar toothpaste, yes please. And it tastes pretty good. So the flavor is renewal mint. So there's that. And it, I love this because it's the one that has, like, the two colors. You kind of see that. So good. Next is about toothbrushes. Uh, the toothbrushes, I believe, were just a dollar, and they were pink. So one dollar pink toothbrushes by Oral-B. Uh, yes, please. So I bought two myself, too. I'm using one right now, so this is my second one. So that is all the stuff I bought at the P&G sale, and that cost me a total of $28. And if you were to donate any amount to the United Way, because all the proceeds towards this goes towards United Way, and if you were to donate any amount of money, you don't have to pay any tax at all. So I think I give like 3 or $5. So basically that was my tax, and I gave it towards the United Way. So all these money that I spent, $28, was all towards the United Way, which is amazing. And everything, everyone who worked in the P&G sale were all volunteers, which I loved. And yeah, so that is all the stuff I bought that's not clothes related everything else that's not clothes related was in this haul so my next video is going to be clothes related so be excited so this video is all over the place because i literally have filmed them forever so i'm just trying to like you know readjust my life but yeah that is my video and i'll see you guys soon bye